its normal operating day. We hope you enjoyed your visit to the Magic Kingdom. It's midnight, closing time at Disneyland. Bye bye. Good night. Thousands of guests walk down Main Street USA for the last time today. Many have no idea what happens when everyone goes home. Well, they don't know that it actually goes on and on for 24 hours, basically. They, they think once they leave here and we close the gates, that's it. What do you think? What do you think happens when the gate closes? <laughs> There's a lot of people here at night. All the workers get, to have, get together and have a big party. And the characters go sleep in the castle, maybe. <laughs> maybe, but on most nights, up to 1,500 Disneyland cast members on the overnight shift don't sleep a wink. They water plants, wipe down benches, trim trees, or like animation tech Mike Real, give characters a checkup. Tonight, he's inspecting Buzz Lightyear's spacesuit. It's very busy at night. I, in fact, I had those same kind of ideas also, but when you come down here at night, there's trucks, there's people going by, there's construction, and in the area attractions are checked every night, and lots of work gets done, extensive work. Not far from Mike is Jared Pyle at the Utopia attraction. Jared is one of a handful of oiler truckers on the overnight shift who refuels seven attractions every night, including all 104 Atopia cars. This is nice. We, we come up here, um, do, do our jobs, get around pretty easily. So I, I like it better at night. For some, working by moonlight is a little spooky at times. It was going to grab me. Mike Burmeister's seen some strange things happen on his shift, like the night he was watering plants inside the Matterhorn. Three things happened all at once. The lights, action, and sound of the uh, snow monster on the Matterhorn. I was about five inches from it. And it was, and it was going to grab me and, and, and eat me alive. Uh, it, and it was loud, too, a piercing sound. So um, that kind of thing, those things happen after midnight. Over on Splash Mountain, Disneyland firefighters okay. are inspecting and the fire you. extinguishers. Perfect. All right, All right. Next. on to the next one. We go to places that the public can't go to. It's, it's a lot of fun. There's no crowds. Uh, it's like being a kid here at night sometimes. Sometimes I wonder why they pay me. Ready and press. And look. Not everyone in the park tonight is used to working these unusual hours. Over on Main Street USA, there's a crew shooting a new commercial for Disney Parks. This is their fifth day on the overnight shift. Director Kinka Usher sums up how they feel with two words. Super tiring. Production manager Donnie Hall doesn't have time to worry about the time. I'm figure out another way to go. I don't really don't even know what day it is right now. Wait a minute. Let me check. That's 6.02 on Friday, on Saturday morning, actually, right? See? There's a reason why the commercial has to be shot while the park is closed. Disney executive Marty Muller explains. We shoot here at night um, because we really want to, um, to be able to shoot our television commercials and not interrupt the guest experience during the day. After several takes, the sun starts to come out, and that means, oddly enough, the third shift's day is over. The next shift of cast members comes in. The guests line up at the gate. The daily countdown begins. Three, two, one. Let the magic begin. And the park that never really closes opens once again. Good morning. Good morning. There you go. Good day.